guys, welcome to Exhibit. Now, I am in beautiful Udaipur where I'll be driving and reviewing the all new Hyundai i20 N Line. I will be reviewing a lot of cool cars, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment below what you like and what you don't like about the N Line. Now, we will be randomly picking one of you guys from the comment section to send some cool N Line merchandise to. All right, let's get started. Now, unlike the regular i20s, this car is specifically designed keeping style and sportiness in mind. And the best part is that it's priced quite aggressively. I mean, look at the facade. It screams sportiness with this revised grille with checkered flag inspired design that displays the N Line logo. It has a sportier dual tone bumper with red inserts, which I think kind of looks cool. Now, in the profile, the car gets 16-inch diamond-cut alloy wheels with an N logo that sets the car apart from the rest. The N line also features a side sill garnish with red front brake calipers, which is what differentiates it from the regular i20s, which in my opinion kind of looks fun. Now on the sides, it also has these red skirts, which gives it that sporty look. Now let's move to the rear. Now on the rear side, the car gets a triangular rear tail light and the N-Line emblem on the tailgate. The N-Line also has rear spoilers and a diffuser. Now the spoilers don't really have a function, but it's just for aesthetics. And the coolest part is the twin mufflers and the exhaust. It's time to play. Of course, it's not a Lamborghini, but it's okay. Now, before we play, let me show you guys what's under the hood. Now, the N-Line doesn't really get any engineering alterations. It's pretty much the same as the i20. You can have a look. The car gets the 120HP, 172NM, 1.0-litre turbo GDI petrol engine. The engine arrives with a 7-speed dual-cutch transmission DCT or a 6-speed intelligent manual transmission IMT. All right, enough talking. Let's try it. that the N-Line can reach 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 9.9 .9 seconds. I think we should test that. All right, so I did do it in 10.1 seconds, so I guess 9.9 .9 seconds is doable. The car has six airbags for safety, so I wasn't quite worried about going at that speed here. The N-Line is quite agile when cornering. Uh, so if you're asking or want to know how it compares to the Polo GT, well, I think this has some better features. It sounds better. It has six airbags. It has dual clutch, so uh, the gear changing is seamless. I can keep driving here. A, the car is really good. Uh, the roads in Udaipur, very wide, very easy to drive on. But I think we should pull over and have a look at the interiors. So the car gets a 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless charging, digital instrument cluster, automatic climate control, a single pane sunroof, seven speaker Boss sound system. The cabin of the i20 N-Line gets black interiors with athletic red inserts and checkered flag design leatherette seats with N logo. Sporty metal pedals, red interior highlights, red ambient lights, a three spoke steering wheel and an N branded IMT DCT gear knob. The overall dashboard layout is a very identical to a standard car. The space is pretty much uh, same to any other car, but if you can notice, there are hints of uh, red touches over here on the doors, on the leather seats, you know, just to go with their sporty vibe that they're looking for. Wow, the view is amazing. So is this like an old wine in a new bottle? Well, not exactly. 
The N-Line with its suspension tweaks and changes does appeal to the younger you and kind of also resonates with its tagline. It's time to play. Now, if you've liked this review, please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop a video. Until next time, latest.